Hey everybody, so there's this video I've been wanting to do for a long time, for years. I've been trying to do this, figure out how to do this video. And what it is is uh, something that is pretty popular with the vinyl community, uh, people, VC people on YouTube, is they like to do music room tours where they take the camera around, I guess, the room in their house that they have all their records and their physical media, music collectibles. And I guess, uh, for the most part, most people have somebody telling them you can only have your music in that room and nowhere else in the house. Well, I have a different situation. I have a two-story house and it's basically full of music. So I don't have a music room, I have a music house. So here's my music house tour, right? Uh, two parts. I, I did them uh, in two parts because they're about 40 minutes long, each of them. Uh, and I want you to know if there's anything you see uh, in the video that I don't talk about enough or whatever you're curious about, leave me a comment on this video about what you want to know more about. And what I'm going to try to do is do another video at some point compiling all the questions people have. Uh, maybe stuff that I didn't talk about, maybe stuff that I just breezed by with the camera. So, uh, hey, uh, check it out. Here's uh, part one. <laughs> You guys ready? Full on house tour coming at you. Oh, and there's Marty McFarty coming at you too. Hey, buddy. Come on, boy. Hey, boy. Come on, let's go. All right. My humble abode. There's Marty's old house right there. He doesn't live there anymore. He lives in here. Wonderful mailbox. And there's our front door. Oh, there's Bob. Let's go in. Well, there's Miss Meowser. And this is downstairs, you guys. Give it a quick once over here for you. Yep. Lots of stuff. And again, this is a music house, not a music room. Records. All right, so uh, let's just start with the back of the door. Of course, you guys know the sticker door. Sticker door supreme. Nice, there's a little cassette holder there I take on the road when I'm thrifting. And of course, we got some Devo stuff framed and ready. And then look at this, vomit absorbent. <laughs> Look at that guy. Rock and roll. There's so much stuff to show you. I'm just going to try to take it slow and show it to you all. Don Ho. Bet you don't know anybody else with a Don Ho glass. Maybe you do. It's a lot of records. Now this section here, this is all the A, B, C, D, E, F, you know, the kind of just alphabetical section. There's no band uh, sections here, specific bands. They're all just A, B, C, D, E, F. You see the, uh, the way I have them broken down there. I also have another method of uh, sorting albums, which I'll show you in a minute. And here's some more Diva. Oh, and check out those old Pez. I've had those since I was a kid. At least most of those. Some of them I got in college, but I think this one here I've definitely had since I was a little boy. And there's a fully signed Oingo Boingo 7 inch. I got that in the early in the mid 90s at Tower Records in LA. And this is cool. This is a fold up, it kind of folded up into this robot UFO looking thing. It's an invitation to a Zig Zig Sputnik show. New York City, I believe it was. And here's a fillable lamp, which I used to get these things at Target for like 20 bucks. And look at all that stuff you can fit in a fillable lamp. I love these fillable lamps. All my junk drawers became junk lamps. Look at that. And there's my very minimal reel-to-reel -reel collection. Most of these are gifts from uh, my friend Tim Nolan, this one, 
particularly cool. Yeah, there's my uh, little batch of reel to reels there. Oh yeah, you got my blondie as well. Got that signed. Asia, great record. Great reel to reel. And Benatar. Got the animals there too. A little uh, Energy Dome uh, book uh, ends. And speaking of energy domes, here's a little display case full of some oddities. Oh, look, what's that? That is Boogie Boy as Gene Simmons. Oh, ho, 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 look at that. Thank you, Sick Rick Masks, for that one. And thank Dave Hopfrog. I am Hopfrog on YouTube for this beautiful guitar. Sent me this a couple years ago. Three years ago, maybe. I play it every now and then. I dig it. And look at there's Meowser. <laughs> hey, Miss Meowsy. Hi, buddy. Now, these things here are really cool. These gray uh, chair looking things. They uh, fold up into ottomans and they also fold out into nice guest beds. And I've had multiple guests stay on them and they all say they sleep well. Oh, look at this. This is a new addition. I just finished this this week. It is a table I got at a thrift store. Promptly, uh, I promptly vandalized it. Got a nice little glass uh, top for it. See there. And uh, yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging the aesthetic there. Now, you want to see some records? Now here, in these kind of bins right here, I wanted to make it specific band sections, like bands that I collect a little more than others, right? So you got ABBA, ACDC, Adam and the Ants, Aim on the Sniffers. I don't have a tag for them yet, but I'm going to make one. Andrew Sisters, big fat Andrew Sisters section. I love me some Andrew Sisters. And here's Angeline. I don't have a name tag for her yet. Soon will. And then there is my anti-scene collection. Still working on a video of this whole collection. But as you can see, it's going to take a minute. Audio 2, one of my favorite 80s rap bands, maybe even early 90s. B-52s, big section of them, Bad Manners, great ska stuff. This is, oh yeah, Beastie Boys. The Beasties, Berlin, oh, love me some Terry Nine in Berlin. And here's another section I need to make a tag for. This is uh, Bewitched. Y'all know the black metal band Bewitched? Them? Marcus. There's Marcus. Marcus used to write me letters back in the 90s. And here's one of them. Spit on the cross. Oh, not piss on the cross. <laughs> and then we got Black Flag, Big Black, great stuff. And let's pan out here. We have Tony Basil promo photo. We have this beautiful photo of Debbie Harry and Blondie by the one and only Jenny Lenz. I saw this picture when I was a little kid in the back of a hard rock magazine. I think it was the first time I ever saw a picture of a girl's underwear. <laughs> I told that to Jenny and she put that picture on her book, on the cover of her book that she uh, published some years ago because I told her that story. She said that was one of the coolest stories, if not the coolest story she's ever heard about one of her photos is that it was the first time I saw a girl's underwear. <laughs> I don't think Debbie likes that picture too much. Is what I've heard. Now here's a great uh, autographed Dickies fold-out poster from a 7-inch. And there's some Mark Mother's Boss stuff from art shows. There's autographed Killing Joke, autographed Poly 6 CD, and the autographed Ramones. Yep, only got two of them. And then this fully autographed Parliament Funkadelic. Took decades to get this done. I got the first little bit of it in 95. And then I got, 20 years later, I got finally got George Clinton and I got Michael Chip Payne to sign it twice. Same thing 20 years later. <laughs> See, he signed it in 95, then he signed it 20 years later. <laughs> Great. Oh, and then I got Tommy Lee to sign this a few years ago, 2016. He was very cool. I like him. Negative land sign thing. Impaled Nazarene. Signed. Carcass. Signed. Cop, shoot, cop. Signed. Soap Girls. Signed. Jeff Clayton action figures. Anti-scene. Changed my life. Mentors. Signed by El Duce. 
and there's some Devo, and there's a stack of domes, and there's the devil with some vices. Gotta love that. Oh, and what's this? We've got some uh, banners here from 5K Devo Run, which happened in 2019 in Ohio. Those were banners that were hanging along the race track. Oh, look, my friend Ann had a song written about her by the Dickies called Marry Me Ann, and Stan and Ann both signed that seven inch for me. And there's a cool old Dickies flyer, and there's an old Crash Worship flyer, and there's a Miley Cyrus set list from her uh, Bangers tour. I saw that show. Absolute Mother's Ball artwork there. We got your autographed Martin Degwill, Zig Zig Sputnik, and Slick Rick. Slick Rick. Slick Rick action figure. So, let's pan over here. Oh, if you ever stay at my house, uh, you'll have to sign this guest book, okay? Don't fight me on it. Don't fight me. All right, let's pan through here again. Another view of the downstairs. Uh, you know what? Let's go into the kitchen. <laughs> I'm going to show you the kitchen. How many people show you the kitchen on their uh, room tours? There's my uh, kitchen. I want to check this out. We got Let's Eat Bib. But look, his eyes are his mouth. His mouth is his eyes. <laughs> I've had this for decades, and I've always loved it and hated it at the same time. And then we got some mummies decals here. We got Hot Dog. And we got Shitsville. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, oh, look, it's the devil. It's the devil. What do we got over here? Oh, yeah. Potions. Everybody needs some potions. Records. Got records everywhere. Bojangles, Amstelite, autographed uh, salad dressing uh, container. That's a long story. We got some plastic food here. And Mark Mothersbaugh gave me this years ago, the Bible Bar. In the 90s, he gave me that. There's some little boogie boy masks, some soldiers fighting for your freedom or something. Oh, look at that. Now, I've had this piece of wood in my kitchen, in every kitchen I've had since the, I guess, late 80s. A friend of mine named Jeff made that in his uh, shop class and was going to throw it away. And I was like, oh, no, I'm taking that. And there's a turkey crucified. You know, so everybody has to have their God. And there's craft work. And there's a light up bunny. Uh, a little backyard action there. Oh, let's go on the uh, top of the refrigerator here. What is going on here? Another one of those fillable lamps. Dig that. Dig that. We got Gene Simmons vandalism going on. We got the KFC fire log, ice nudes, boy brand sandwich cookies. Two kinds of boy brand there. Two different countries. Oh, we got Zig Zig. Dickies, Dickies, old frothing slosh. I used to collect beer cans when I was a kid. That's one of the few I still have left. And let's pan over here. Please, no cigarette smoking inside. There's uh, some drinking, drinking stuff, drinking tools. Oh look, it's Mark Muttersbaugh as a child. That's a art rug that Mark Muttersbaugh made. And uh, chilling cat. Now let's go into the little hallway here, right here. Now this is another display of records, which I'll get to in a second. But here's a nice little kiss display here. We got a Gene Simmons blood cup used in concert. A pick. We got some old stickers I've had since I was a kid. We got the Funko. Gene Simmons soda thing. We got the oh vintage Gene Simmons doll, which my friend Tim got me. I had one when I was a kid, but somebody stole it. Oh, he dropped his hot dog. Damn, Gene. But thanks, Tim, for that. We got some uh, autograph stuff. Eric B. Rock Kim. We got more Kiss. Kiss Radio. A gift from my friend Cherry Bomb, a.k.a. Pantera, a.k.a. Rusty Hamilton. Great stuff. Uh, here's, this is a weird... This is a combination of two candy holders. This tongue was a candy thing, had powdered sugar in it or something. And then this had a big gumball in the mouth. I forget what it was called, but I painted it up, glued some hair on it, put them together. It's Gene Simmons. I've had this model since I was a kid. It's sealed in shrink wrap. Now it was opened, but I never built the model. I never did anything to it. And I shrunk wrapped that thing when I was in college because I came upon a shrink wrapper. So it's been shrunk wrapped since uh, 30 years ago or something, long time. 
Oh, and here, just random, here's a nice cool Ozzy Osbourne rug, or uh, scarf, actually. I wish I had an Ozzy Osbourne rug. Oh, and there's some vintage Kiss cards there. Love me some Kiss cards. Now, the autograph stuff on the wall here. We got Psychic TV, Reverend Jim Jones album, my favorite Psychic TV release, autographed by Genesis. That's right. Just before he passed away, his last show in the U.S., I think, I saw, it was at Moogfest, and he signed that from the stage. And there's uh, the mummies. Love the mummies. They signed this at Burger Boogaloo some years ago. Descendants got them to sign this some years ago. Killer, my friend's adult, who always have poo poo and pee pee humor. Lots of poo poo pee pee humor. Those guys like the humor, the poo poo pee pee humor. They like it. Anti scene, I think fully autographed by almost every living band member of Anti scene at their, what was it, 30th anniversary or something? 35th anniversary show. Anti scene. Those guys changed my life. There's a great record. You'll hate this record record with fake vomit glued on the cover. Gotta love that. Now, here's another section of records that is just band specific, okay? Now let's just go through here real quick. Black Sabbath, Blondie, Blowfly, Boswell Sisters, Lenny Bruce, Buttle Surfers, Cab Calloway, Carcass, Celtic Frost, Cheap Trick, Coil, Cop Shoot Cop, The Cure, Dead Kennedys, Martin Denny, Descendants, Dickies, Big Dickies section, More Dickies, uh, DOA, Thomas Dolby, uh, Duran Duran, Big Duran Duran section, EPMD, The Fix, Lots of Fix, Flock of Seagulls, Lots of Flock of Seagulls, Fetus, and this one here, I haven't made a tag for yet, oh yeah, Freiheit, German synth pop, I love them. Uh, Freuer, more synth pop. Fun Boy 3, Debbie Gibson, big section of her. And now it jumps here to the end of the alphabet because I didn't have anywhere else to put this crate. But uh, we got Village People, Wall of Voodoo, Weirdos, XTC. Down here, because I don't have anywhere else to put it, is my Zig Zig Sputnik crate. That's all Zig Zig Sputnik, guys. Whoa, heavy. And then look at this cool album cover here. It's like three dimensional plastic box. That's like a vacuum formed box. Plastic cover. I've never seen anything like that. I can't even find that online. I looked for it everywhere. Discogs, everywhere. I can't find it. So, before we get over here, I'm going to pan around and we're going to see this little uh, setup here. This is, used to be a closet and now I made it a uh, place for my stereo stuff. I don't know, maybe 10 years ago? I don't know how many years ago it was. It was a few years ago that I made this my little stereo cabinet of sorts. And uh, you see all the flyers back there from my collection. Of course, they're not original flyers. Well, I guess maybe one or two of them are originals if I had more than one, but Xerox is original flyers from my bands, bands I've seen over the years now. Here's some little trinkets. There's a baby, baby Jean, Devo, Devo, weird guy with an ax. Oh man, cool Keith flyer, rabbit salesman flyer. And then we got this cool boom box with a TV in it. Y'all ever seen one of those? It's a great night light. 100 Gex, 100 Gex and surfboard at the top there. Right on. And this is a devil mask. Uh, Leonard Grace Phillips of the Dickies Devil Mask. This is Carcass uh, Deluxe Edition of their Torn Arteries album plate set. Really cool. Okay, now, right over here, I just want to show you these flyers and stuff. Promo Flat for Black Flag, Skinny Puppy, Cop Shoot Cop Flyer, Old Flyer for DRI, Social Savagery. I saw them at the Yellow Rose, 1984. Boingo Flat along with a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> bunch of stuff. Okay, now, let's go in. Let's see, where do we wanna go? Door one or door two? Well, let's go in door one. Now this is the downstairs bathroom, often re referred to as the guest bathroom. Nobody ever uses this, really. I never use this bathroom. And this is the one part of the house that I was not able to get redone uh, redesigned uh, in, I think it was, man, a long time ago. 
uh, maybe 10 years ago or so, I got the downstairs totally redone, new floors and everything. There used to be carpet down here. And then this room, I just never had enough money to finish it. So what I did was I just vandalized it. <laughs> I just thought, well, it's not gonna be like this forever, I'll vandalize it. So here's the vandalized bathroom. See the floor, I've drawn all over the floor. Drew all over the cabinets. Uh, we got the breakdancing poster there. But, you know, the door is pretty sick with the uh, Boingo Boingo stencils. And then we come in here, we got some nice uh, stuff on display for the guests. I know, the bathroom fan's on. The fan comes on with the light. It's one of those janky systems. Oh, Bill Cosby's gang there. There you go, some instructions. And some patriotism there. And a kitty. And then if you... Uh, Look over here in the shower. You'll see that I let everybody vandalize my shower. <laughs> so uh, there's the soap girls when they stayed here. They vandalized the flower. Surfboard. We did a, a collaboration, me and Sean of Surfboard. Did Dortboard. There's some more soap girls. Uh, and then uh, that's Surfboard as well. Danny. Danny. Uh, Wrote that N I C E. I can't tell you what that sp stands for, but uh, it stands for something. And there's my friend Vince, who did actually throw up here on 52523. <laughs> Drank too much. Drank a little bit too much. But see, uh, there's my tagged up guest shower. Now, Schoolie D poster. Can't deny the coolness in that. Of course, vintage We Are Devo poster. Mine's warning. And this is a bath massage thing. And this is a beauty skin cloth. That's right. Now, turn off that irritating fan. Oh, here we have a picture disc. Here we have... You ever see what angels look like? There they are. And then we'll go into this room here. The Slayer dressing room, otherwise known as the CD storage room. And here we go. Now it's mostly CDs here. And that is alphabetical A through Z. Right there. And we can just go to the skim through here. House tour is gonna have to, you know, be a full-on house tour. I gotta show you stuff. Okay, I'm just gonna go through pretty quickly here. An overview of my addiction, my sickness, my love of the rock and roll. Physical media. That's what I'm talking about. The physical media. Mm-hmm. Lots of CDs. I love them. You know, I'm a big fan of uh, listening to CDs in a car, especially road trips. So I'm always going to have to have a CD player in my car no matter what. Thank God my little Nissan, which I've had since 2007, which has a CD player, is still running strong. I don't know what I would do if I have to get a car without a CD player. I'd die. But yeah, just giving you a brief little looky loo here at my CDs. Y'all probably recognize some of this stuff. Y'all probably don't know what the hell some of this stuff is. But, uh... Impale Nazarene, chillin'. Okay, getting down here. Right. <laughs> this is great. I haven't even opened that CD yet, but I probably should, so I can teach my teen things. Good thing I don't have a teen. That would be sad. Oh yeah, got some Madonna. You know that's right. Moody Blues got some of them too. Oh yeah, and the missing persons. Big fan. Oh man, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Negative land. Klaus. I'm running out of room though. As you can see, I got the CDs crammed up in there everywhere. I think I'll need one more shelf of seat for CDs in here. And then maybe I'll be good, right? Hmm, it's hard to say. 
Reflex. I love the band Reflex. There's a cool box set they released some years ago. Sator. Rush. Stump. Stand Ridge Way. All kinds of stuff in here, guys. Severed Heads. Big fan of them. You'll see a lot of Severed Heads. And then we got Zig Zig Sputnik. Lots of Sputnik CDs. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, here's my boy, Slime City. Love that band, Glasgow. Mm hmm. Spice Girls, you know, that's right. Sum 41, love that band. Donna Summer. This is my. This is my stuff. This is my stuff. And most of this has followed me around all my life. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, down here in these white boxes, that is my 7-inch vinyl collection for the most part. And uh, the 7 inches you see up here in those boxes there, they have not been refiled yet. Those are the ones I took out for, to make videos on or whatever, took out to listen to. There's my 10-inch vinyl collection. Pretty small, but pretty good stuff in here. Maybe I'll do a video on that one day. 10 inch vinyl. I, I, storing that stuff is a pain in the ass. I want to get a new box. I want to get something made of wood or hard plastic to fit those in because I don't like putting it in that cardboard. But, uh, yeah, that's my 10 inch collection. Now over here, you'll see this vintage Guar Scum Dogs of the Universe poster. This is a big Subway poster that came out right when that album came out in 89 or 90. And I happened to go to a Guar show in Virginia. In, or DC, maybe uh, DC. Um, and uh, this guy here, the bass player, I think his name's Mike, he gave me this poster. He handed it to me backstage, and I took it home and promptly got it laminated. So that's the only reason it has stayed in such great shape over the decades. So right here, we have one of the uh, cardboard kids that my band Silica Gel used to use in concert. Uh, they would dance around. They were hooked up to a drill motor that made them dance. There's the boy. And then here, all this stuff here, this whole batch of CDs right here on this side, that's all Devo. That's all Devo CDs. Even CDRs, bootleg shows, whatever, DVDs. And then over here is a lot of different stuff. Up here in this first level here, that's all the bands and the product, pr projects that I've been involved in over the years on CD. This one here is all Thor. My buddy John Michael Thor from Canada. It's all Thor and Thor continues down here. All Thor. And then here is all uh, black metal, death metal, really hard metal. Now I have some of metal, some metals over there in the A through Z section, but this is just all a big big a big wad of various black metal and death metal and uh, it continues here and then right around here it gets into drone bass and really hard electronic stuff like uh, the digital hardcore era a lot of the stuff's from the 90s back when i used to go to raves and stuff and all of this drone bass there's the mighty basic and so that's that and there's some uh, music related dvds Yep, lots of stuff. Some of my favorite stuff. I don't really watch a lot of movies, but I do own some. And then up here, along with some DVDs, you'll see VHS, Violence and Rock Music, Debbie Gibson, Severed Heads, all kinds of stuff. Residents, Berlin, all kinds of stuff. Go-Go's, Guar, Neubauten, Pistols, Negative Land. Up here, Look at this format. Uh huh. Video 45. Beta videos. Forbidden Zone on Beta. Dig that. Oh, and there's Devo on Beta. So, and here's a cool Devo, uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, one of them uh, doctor's coats. What do you call that damn thing? I forget what it's called, but there it is. And then we go over here. We have some Zig Zig Sputnik posters, which were given to me by the one and only Tony James of Zig Zig Sputnik and of Generation X. 
He gave me those uh, back in the 90s. He mailed those to me to have me get them scanned, and he said I could keep them. And I kept them, and I got them laminated, and that's why they are in such great shape. Now, here's another uh, section of records, which is band-specific. So here we have uh, the Go-Go's, Happy Flowers, Hillary, great synth pop from uh, the 80s, early 80s. I love Hillary. Not many people know, but I do, and I love Hillary. Human League, Industry, great uh, synth pop, and I guess their first couple albums were industrial, uh, but they became very synth pop. This is their most well-known record here. And then Kajagugu, love that band. Killing Joke, one of my favorites of all time. And Kiss, of course, my first love in life. Lots of Kiss. Kiss, 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 kiss. Not as much Kiss as uh, some people, but uh, I, I really kind of stopped collecting Kiss, you know, back when I was in college, I guess. I haven't really bought much Kiss on vinyl or anything since then. Craftwork, and then we go right to Madness. And then we go to Mentors, oh yeah. Mentors, Mentors. Missing Persons, big section of them. Love that band. And then this is The Mummies. I don't have a tag for them yet on their divider, but I'm gonna make one. Negative Land, New Music, great synth pop. New wave of stuff. Almost experimental at the same time. Now, back up here and show you this little walkthrough used to be closet and I had to knock it out and make a walkthrough because I'm one person. I don't need a whole bunch of closets in my house. So this house was is not designed for families. It's designed for me. Okay. <laughs> so here's a bunch of stuff. This is all my Devo seven inches. Box one, two, and three there. And uh, in this door there with the cool skinny puppy poster on it. There's posters in there. Just tubes and tubes and tubes and tubes of posters that I've collected over the years. I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with those. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. AC photo. Rest in power, Seth. Now, this is all stuff here that needs to go to storage. Mostly Devo Tour related stuff. That all needs to go to the storage space. I haven't gotten there yet. And now let's spin around again without trying to get you dizzy. Let's spin around and check out this room. Okay, what do we got here? We got some spray paint waiting to be used. We got a little Marcy doll. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And look at all these uh, autographed records. Dickies. Now, Dini is not autographed, but she is in Heaven's Hall of Fame. Yes, she is. Good old Dini. There's Paris, wearing her Devo gear. There's Devo fans are everywhere, guys. KC, autographed. Love KC and Sunshine Band. Autographed by Kix. Hell yeah, I love Kix. Autographed by The Biz. Rest in power, Biz. Got that autographed during a Yo Gabba Gabba concert. Oh yeah, DRI. Love this album, changed my life when I got it when I was a little kid. So I met them in 83, I believe it was, or 84, at the Yellow Rose in Charlotte. Very cool. Killing Joke autographed. Cool second TV flyer. Some cool record stickers I found along the way. Gabba, Boingo, Mother's Ball Art, Boogie Boy. Autograph Man Without Hats. I'm going to see them this weekend. Get more stuff signed. There's some beautifully framed Devo. And some more Devo related stuff. And some 7 inch covers there. Oh yeah. Zig Zig Sputnik Rare 7 inch. Rare uh, 7 inch that came with a book. I forget what the name of the book is. Some punk rock book that came out in Australia. And down here we have a selection of uh, boom boxes, radios. Mixed in with some other stuff, we have, oh, Cynthia, rest in power, Cynthia, my friend Cynthia, uh, the plaster caster, some blondie watches, autographed dickies, some things, and so I got this thing at a festival in Australia last year that Devo played, and those guys, that's how it looked, I didn't, I didn't vandalize that, that's how that stand, that was all over backstage, little characters, little signs of characters backstage, on this, my mannequin wipe, everybody needs their mannequin wipes. 
Chumpy. If y'all don't know Chumpy, you should. And then over here, we have a uh, Devo crazy other language poster. And we have some cool free records coupons. And autograph John Waters, Odorama card there. Some more Mark Mother's Bar, art show invites, some Dickies flyers, some Kiss toys, Thor, old picture of the Thor band. And then over here, just look at this array of things. Well, there he is, the Savior, in case you didn't know. And the other Savior's Kiss. And we got Bootsy Sealed. Eight track. We got some Mother's Ball art. We got Roxy Music box set. We got Ozzy Osbourne. Meryl Womack eight track. Oh yeah, Blood. Mark Ryden and Stan Ridgeway put that out. Oh yeah, here's the uh, Satanic Attack videotape by uh, somebody, Christian guy. Duran Duran Banner. Love it. Here's some more uh, band section vinyl. Rabbit Salesman. That's my band from when I was a kid. Uh, Ramones. Raunch Hands. Love the Raunch Hands. Oh yeah, and Reflex. Love that band. Saw Reflex open for the police on the Synchronicity Tour. Greensboro, North Carolina. They were great. Ronaldo the Loaf. Residence. Rheingold. Another German uh, synth pop band. Run DMC. Sator from Sweden. I love my friends. And Sator. Schizos. You guys seen my channel a year or two ago. You saw some Schizos videos. Uh, Schooly D, love that stuff. Severed Heads, big section. Love me some Severed Heads. Look at that big Severed head section. Oh, box set. And then we got here, Six Pistols. We got Shizuo, great hard drum bass techno stuff. Silica Gel, that's my experimental band from the 90s. And then we got Skinny Puppy, love that band. Sparks, Special Stump. And we got The Mighty, Surfboard. Tears for Fears, Thompson Twins, Throbbing Gristle, Trio, Ultravox, Venom. Pretty good. And then over here, oh, let's just check this out real quick. Oh, we got the Backstage Pass Devo. We got the Three Inch Dickies CD. Pretty cool. Atari Teenage Riot. Vintage Jesus Priest mirror. I love these old rock mirrors. We got Quiet Riot, Come Feel the Noise. Let me tell you about this poster. Charlotte, North Carolina, this happened. I saw this show. And originally, the posters around town said Iron Maiden really big with Quiet Riot and smaller letters. But then the Quiet Riot album really blew up and it became a big hit. And they started getting a lot more radio airplay than Iron Maiden. So then these posters started showing up with Quiet Riot bigger. Even though Quiet Riot was opening for Maiden, Quiet Riot was the main band appearing with. Iron Maiden. So I took that off a telephone pole. I've never seen another one like it, but I thought that was interesting. I've never seen an opening band uh, promoted like that on a flyer before, especially such a huge show. And there's a Van Halen mirror back there, and then this is my little Thor uh, thing here, my little Thor display. These are actual uh, costume pieces worn by Thor over the decades, belt, codpiece, You'll see those on, I believe, his Only the Strong album. Uh, he's wearing them on that. And there's a little coaster and a, a steel bar that he bent in the early days when he bent little tiny steel bars. And there's an award he won. Some kind of trophy there that Thor won. Let's see what it says here. Yep, John Mickle. Pretty cool. Here's a paperweight that the record label made for him when he was coming out with his debut album. I think it was 77, 78. And then down here is Thor Vinyl. Thor Vinyl. And there's a seven inch with a patch framed. And there's an autographed hot water bottle back in 2002, I believe that says. Thor used to blow up those hot water bottles in concert, in case you didn't know. Oh, and by the way, this is the Killing Joke dressing room. Okay. And check this out. The last little batch of 12-inch uh, vinyl I have to show you. Klaus Nomi, Gary Newman, Oliver Tree. And then you go to Oingo Boingo. Big bunch of Oingo Boingo. I'm still working on doing a video of my collection. I know I've been talking about it for like two years, but as you can see, just from the 12-inch, it's going to be a, a big video. 
Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, that's a great bootleg right there. And we got Parliament Funkadelic, big section of Parliament. We got Plasmatics, The Police, Prince, Producers, Public Enemy, Public Image, and Pussy Galore. Lots of vinyl. Moving right along. Artwork from when I was a kid. Uh, Kiss. I used to draw a Kiss a lot. These are from the 70s, probably 74, 75, 77. Around there. There's some more cool flyers from Charlotte. Anti-scene, DRI, social savagery. More of my Kiss art here. Sorry about the glare. And this was like, yeah, 75, I think. I was into drawing Kiss. More autographs. Huey, Red Fang, the producers, great power pop stuff. Uh, not autographed, but Zig Zig Sputnik, not autographed, but Stump. Remember these record bar tape sticker things that used to get with uh, tapes? Maybe you don't. Look at that, cool. Zig Zig Sputnik cassette, still sealed in the display card. And some Devo stuff. And then over here, more records. Bus Brown, great stuff. Just look him up, great stuff. Oh yeah, Black Flag, autographed by Greg Ginn. More producers autograph. There's a flyer for a Diva record I helped release. Live 1981, Neck Face, my favorite graffiti artist. Killing Joke autographed. Thomas Dolby autographed. Celtic Frost insert. Cheap Trick autographed. Uh, Footprint autographed by Seth of Anal Cut. Weird Paul autograph. The Dickies autograph. With the logo I designed for them, hot damn. The Mummy is autographed. Devo mirror that me and my girlfriend made way back in the uh, 90s. Autographed. Devo laser disc by Jerry Ksa. This is when I first met Jerry. Michael, you give me hope that there's reason to stick around. Yours in de-evolution, Jerry Ksa. That's awesome. Well, he, he gave me hope to stick around, that's for sure. And uh, Dickies and stuff. Okay, so then, uh, I believe that's it for this room. Oh yeah, Man Parish. If you don't know Man Parish, look it up. Really cool stuff. And I'll tell you what. Uh, that concludes part one of this full house tour. And next, guess where we're going? Upstairs, guys. We're going upstairs. 